Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I have another farmhouse DIY for you. I'm going to be showing you how I made this farmhouse windmill and this farmhouse wagon wheel for only one dollar. I made these with one piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. I was actually only going to make the wagon wheel originally until I realized that the pieces I cut out from the wagon wheel actually would make a perfect windmill and I'm really glad that I discovered that. So if you're like me and you love the farmhouse look but you don't want to spend a lot of money to get it, you're definitely in the right place. As you can see, I have my one piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree and every time I have to trace a perfect circle, I really just spend time around my house looking for the perfect item. And this time it just so happened to be my trash can. It worked out great. And now for the smaller circle, I'm just using a little flower pot, also from the Dollar Tree. And then with the smallest circle on the inside, I thought that I would just freehand that one. And like I said guys, I usually just use whatever is around my house to trace things and a fruit snacks box was sitting on my counter and I thought it would work perfect and it really did. It worked out well for me. Again here, I'm really just freehanding these lines, but if you want it to be more perfect, you can definitely take more time than I did and actually measure out the lines to make them perfect. Now here I was attempting to cut this out with just a pair of scissors and I was really hoping that it was going to work but it just was not happening. So I actually waited until my husband came home and I had him use a utility knife to cut the pieces that I wanted and honestly I don't know why I even had him do it. I actually used the utility knife later on in the video to cut something and it was easy for me to use. This is when I started getting really excited. Is that not so satisfying to watch them all just pop out like that? It was so exciting to me. Here I'm just using some nutmeg brown from Walmart. These actually go a really long way and I've been able to use it for a lot of crafts lately. Now, you really wanna make sure to paint the sides really well because if you don't do that, then it will be a straight giveaway that it's a foam board. Here, I'm just going in with a second coat. Now, again here with the nutmeg brown and a jet black, I'm just going to mix them together to make kind of a light black color. Basically, what I'm doing is just attempting to make it look like a distressed wood look. It's actually a lot of fun to just play around with different techniques to make it look real. And this is where you can really start to get creative. I'm going in with a little bit of white chalk paint just a little to brush over the top and it does not need to be chalk paint it can be any kind of paint again just get creative with what you think looks real and what you like there really is no right or wrong way to do this here is the finished wagon wheel 
Now, this is really just my way of showing you that I really am using the same piece of foam board and the same pieces that I cut out of the wagon wheel to make the windmill. I'm just tracing out what will be the inside of the windmill. Here again, my husband is using the utility knife to cut out the circle for me. Again, I don't know why I had him do it, but he's always there to help me if I need him and I'm always thankful for that. I'm gonna be using some hemp string that I have, but you can use yarn or just whatever you have sitting around and I'm assembling how I want the windmill to look. I got this metallic paint from Walmart for only a dollar and this is where you're really gonna get the shine to come in for the windmill, which really helps it to not look at all like a foam board. You could use spray paint to achieve the same look, but as you can see there, I am pregnant and this is just a lot less expensive and easier. Now I'm just gonna use a white paint and a gray paint and mix them together to make a light gray paint. Now to achieve the famous corrugated steel look, I'm just using a paper towel and I'm quite literally just dabbing the light gray paint onto my pieces and just playing around with it until I like the way that it looks. And I have to say, it really does look real in real life. You just would not know the difference. And I'm gonna paint over my hemstring to make it the same gray color. Here I am finally using the utility knife and like I said, it was really easy so I kind of felt silly for having my husband cut the other pieces. Now, if it didn't already look real enough, I'm going in with some more nutmeg brown to make it look rusty. And let me tell you guys, it really started coming to life when I did that. Once you learn how to master paint, you can really turn any material that you want into something that looks like corrugated steel. Now, after I assembled all the pieces, I'm just hot gluing everything together. I did cut my painted hemp string into little strips and I'm just hot gluing it to the center of the little wings there to create that little circle that you always see on the windmills. Now for the grand reveal, I was so excited when I saw how it turned out. So here are the finished products and there is that one piece of foam board that I used to make them both. I'm really glad that I decided to make the windmill because it turns out I actually like that one a lot better. Well, that is all for this video, guys. I really hope that I inspired you to think outside the box a little bit and just to know that you can have the look in your house that you desire without spending a ton of money to get it. I've spent a lot of money throughout the years on decor for my house, and now that I'm finding the joy in making things myself, I really don't think I'm going to be spending that kind of money again. If you like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. I would really love to make more videos like this for you guys. That is all for now and I will see you in the next video.